Welcome, I'm Anthony, and uh, today we're going to melt some more copper, and uh, the weather's cooperating nicely today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, the sun is out, it's quite bright, but at least it's not too hot. So I think all the problems that we've seen in the last few weeks with uh, the too wet, it's been raining, really windy, and then the week before all the storms, it was too hot, and the camera kept shutting off. So uh, I think today is going to be a beautiful day for this. Um, so like I said, we're doing a copper melt today. We're finally going to get to the long-awaited copper ball. So this is a softball, but uh, I've estimated using a plastic bag, I've estimated the volume. Got a neighbor cutting the grass, so we're going to try to talk over that, all right? Um, I've estimated the volume by using a plastic bag and uh, the volume of copper that fit in that same space is just under four pounds. So I'd like to make a five pound ball, but my mold is of this and that's going to be a four pound ball. Uh, I also want to thank a few people for the copper that was donated today. This is uh, really generous of them. And so the copper that's used today, some of it's gonna come from computer parts. It's quite a bit of copper in here. A lot of it comes from computer stuff. Um, these bars of copper, these, these black reddish things, these bars are copper oxide. They are donated from a friend who does a lot of chemistry stuff. So um, as part of my thank you for him, I have weighed out about 1300 grams and uh, we're gonna make two bars for them for him and his colleague that he works with to say thank you for for his uh, his contributions but this is more of the the copper oxide that he has uh, so graciously donated to us we're gonna get serenaded by birds as we talk over a lawnmower this is gonna be a loud video but once the forge is going, we can't hear anything anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll get that forge roaring. Now I know this is going to catch fire, so I'm not going to be surprised.
Huh. Either I underestimated the copper, or I waited too long. I'm not sure that's all copper. Wonder what else is in there. Well, that didn't go at all like I had planned. Um, the ball didn't even halfway fill up and I knew it was gonna struggle because there wasn't a vent. Um, I didn't have enough room in that little box and there, there wasn't a vent. However, I didn't even get enough copper to flow that would have filled that. Um, I did weigh it. It just is over about two pounds, two and a quarter. Um, so it's really not even halfway, well, it's about half of what I expected. Um, when trying to pour the two bars that I wanted to pour, um, the copper didn't pour. Uh, it got liquid, it got molten, and I was able to skim the, the garbage off the top. Um, it looked like a lot of that was uh, borax from previous melts, but 
there's something really strange about the metal's consistency. It was not pouring correctly. And to be honest, it didn't melt quite correctly either. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. Um, being oxidized copper or copper oxide, um, one of the recommendations given to me when I received that was to add some carbon. So I added a, a little um, charcoal briquette that you'd cook with. And uh, I don't know if it did anything or not. Uh, when I poured the ball, I noticed it was a little bit sluggish. It was a little bit slow. It didn't want to flow correctly. And uh, when I poured the bar, the first bar, it didn't flow at all. I couldn't get it to pour into the mold. When I got it to pour into the mold, it didn't want to go all the way back to the back of the mold. It wasn't quite liquid. It was too viscous. It was too thick and sticky. Uh, I abandoned trying to do the flat, the flat uh, bars using the steel panel. And uh, when I re went and re-poured the bar, which you saw, it uh, it didn't quite pour correctly then either. Um, I remelted it and it, I tried it again and it didn't pour. So I don't know exactly what's wrong with that copper. Um, not being a chemist, not being a metallurgist, just being a hobbyist, um, I can tell something was different. The bare bright copper pours beautifully. It flows wonderfully. Um, there's something that I've got to learn about this, this uh, copper oxide. Um, and maybe it wasn't the copper. Maybe it was the, uh, the technician working the, working the forge. But uh, um, I don't know. I just know that it didn't feel right tonight. Something, something's a little off with it. Uh, I will um, polish the bars. I'll clean them up. Um, one of the bars is a double pour and it's got seams everywhere, but I'm not going to remelt it. I don't know if it's worth the propane to do so. So it's, it's what it is. I've got half a softball, about two pounds of a softball and two bars. Uh, one's okay, but again, it, it didn't, it didn't pour quite right and it didn't leave the crucible. I have a lot of copper that has bound itself to the walls of the, uh, the crucible. I don't know how to get it off without chipping it. So um, I may have to heat the crucible up and just pour it, pour it out and just get rid of it. Um, I'd, hate to, I'd hate to lose a crucible over this. Next step is to, to buff it and clean it. Let's go.
Well, uh, that was an interesting pour. Um, the mold continues to evolve and I am getting closer to being able to make a ball. Here's a problem that I have with making a ball so big. The, the crucibles that I have, I'm never gonna be able to fit bigger softball sized uh, pours back inside to melt them down. So either I'm gonna have to make the ball a little smaller so that way when I mess up, I can remelt them or I need to buy bigger crucibles. Um, so right now I think the strategy I'm going to use is I'm just going to make smaller, smaller copper balls. Um, a baseball or a tennis ball would be a good size, I think. Um, but this softball was definitely a fun thing to try. Uh, you can see, you can see the little softball threads. So it wasn't terrible. Um, there was something a little bit strange about the copper. Uh, it was a little too viscous. It was a little too thick. Um, it didn't flow, it didn't pour, it felt sticky. Um, not exactly sure why. Um, I didn't have that problem with other copper, such as the, the bright copper, the bare bright copper from wires, um, or from the copper that I pulled from the starter motors. For this, I would say it's definitely another try. It was um, fun to do. And it was uh, interesting to learn the different problems that I was gonna face with the copper and with the pouring. But I am getting closer to making that copper ball. Again, I'd like to thank those that have um, donated the copper for us to melt today. And uh, I will be melting something similar next week. Um, I have, uh, I already have the thing that I want to melt down next week. Um, they're huge and they're very heavy. So we're gonna see uh, We're gonna see what it takes to take these apart um, Find out next week what it is. Hey, if you've liked what you've been seeing Please check out all the other videos on the channel, but please like and subscribe If there's something you would like to see me melt Tear apart or create please comment below and let me know what it is and uh, I'll see you next week